Okay, well it's finally time to uh, put the prop on. I've had um, really only one of these blades on before just to kind of mock up when I was putting the engine stand together and for the cage just to make sure I had enough space. So hopefully my, um, my spacing was correct. But uh, today that is, uh, we'll put it all on and hopefully it all fits. So this is a Whirlwind. Uh, it's specific prop for airboats. This is the uh, super wide, it's an 80 inch diameter, three bladed prop. Now with this, apparently it needs about 500 uh, to 550 horsepower to spin it. So it takes quite a bit of power. It's, it's a, you know, pretty huge prop really. So, uh, well, hopefully that works out. The prop comes with these, uh, this is the hub, and it's actually quite a nice piece of machined aluminum on both sides. I've painted these uh, satin black. And then, uh, let's see if I can show it here. On the hub here, there's index markings from 10 to 30 degrees, and that corresponds. There's uh, marker stickers on the blades as well. So that'll help get the pitch uh, close, and then I'll use uh, probably my iPhone actually, just for as an angle finder when it's time to uh, to fully pitch the prop and get them all uh, exact. But today I'll just uh, get it mounted, get it up rough, and then uh, um, once the blades are on, or the prop is on, then I can start actually tuning the engine with a bit of load on it, which is of course what it will see. As for the prop blades themselves, so these are carbon fiber. They're nice and light. It's got, uh, I don't know, it's probably stainless steel as the leading edge. And, uh, you know, I don't know much about props, but these seem well made. And uh, hopefully they work out well for this application. Okay, so I have uh, just a base tune in here, and uh, well, let's see if it'll turn over, let's see if it'll start, idle, hopefully the prop doesn't have any interference.